Okay, so thank you all for taking the time out of your busy day to come along for the first webinar of this series. Um, over the next few weeks, you'll have the opportunity to join myself and Kirsty in some webinars aiming to help you get more out of your prospect CRM. Uh, we have plenty of webinars on the way. Uh, to name a few, we have opportunity pipelines, magic matrix and reporting, uh, quotes to water workflow as well. Uh, I'm looking to prepare some more for uh, going into 2024 as well. So plenty heading your way. We also have Jess on the call with us this afternoon. So there is options within the interface to submit questions or, or options in the chat as well. Jess will keep an eye on the questions and we'll go through those towards the end as well. We have already had some come in, which I've sort of prepared and, and have set aside because I think they'll be really good for everyone to, to hear who's on the webinar today. Um, so again, thanks for coming along. For those who don't know me, my name's Alex. Uh, here's a lovely photo of myself from when I was about 12. Um, I've been with Prospect for five years now, uh, one of which has been with the Access Group since our acquisition. Uh, I've held a few positions here, including support, onboarding and CSM. So hopefully I know my way around well enough for today's session. Um, so today's agenda, uh, we're going to be focusing specifically on Prospect notifications which is one of the newer features that Prospect has developed into the CRM. There's plenty of scope for building more notifications, so any feedback would be appreciated. Uh, but it's also one of the simpler features to demonstrate, so I won't need to hold you hostage all afternoon. Um, just looking to create a bit of awareness, offer some insight uh, as to how you might use this feature. So we'll aim to cover how these notifications help you stay ahead, uh, how to enable them in settings, and I'll sort of go through and give you a bit of a demonstration as to how to configure them, um, and then showcase some of the notifications we have, such as the first order place, uh, on hold orders and inquiry assignments as well. So staying ahead, so what do we mean by staying ahead? So email notifications have a number of benefits. Notifications allow you to stay engaged with your data without needing to manually go and look for that data in prospect reports and dashboards. Uh, no doubt they're very useful, but they require your valuable time to engage with. Notifications conduct some of these tasks for you, allow you to take in this data, take this information without needing to actually go and look for it. Um, automated notifications give you insight into your customers, their, their orders, uh, even something as simple as collaborating with a colleague. Um, all these different notifications we're aiming to cover today offer something unique to you. Um, so some of, some of the benefits we'll delve a bit deeper into um, customer growth, seeing sort of the new customers you've onboarded over a given period. Uh, communication between colleagues, as well as how that's recorded within Prospect and how that's stored. Um, ownership of inquiries, dedicating sort of new opportunities to users the second they come in. Um, this could be from a website or manually logged, but we'll cover that a little bit more thoroughly later. Um, not missing out on any opportunities with notifications for missing orders and pending order alerts. Um, and also getting a summary of your upcoming tasks. Um, and again, sort of planning your day or week ahead, depending on how that's configured. All right, so that's the uh, the slides done. Uh, I can now take you over to one of our demo systems. So I don't bore you all afternoon with PowerPoint. So we have a demonstration system here. This might be familiar to some of you already. This is the That's My Jam profile. Uh, it's a favorite in the sales team uh, and also the onboarding team. So for those unfamiliar, this is a fictional company that sells jams and jam jars. Um, creativity was on a real high that day. We're going to use this profile to showcase how the notifications are set up, how they're used, how you can configure them, and how they look when you when you receive one yourself. All right, so starting within Prospect. In the top right-hand corner, you have your initials or your picture. And then in my profile, out to the left-hand side here, you have notifications where the interface for most of our notifications have been built. So as we look through this, you'll see a couple of notifications we have. Some of them are enabled for me and then the configuration as well. So we have new pending and on-hold orders, all pending and on-hold orders, task assignments, which is something you're probably already familiar with, missing orders, new customers, uh, create, uh, customers making their first order, 
mentions and inquiry assignments. So they all have similar configuration in a sense that they give you a bit of a blurb as to what they are, most are hopefully self-explanatory, and then you get to choose whether you get them daily, weekly, or monthly. Some of them have a configuration where they are appearing instantly, and that may or most likely be sort of grayed out because they do appear instantly by default. So task assignments is a good idea or a good mention of that. Um, some of them also have my customers only. So if you manage your data in a way that you divide your data by account managers, you may only want to see information for your own accounts, in which case that's a, a filter you can use. Um, first order place, customers placing their first order. This is one of the newer notifications we have. Uh, it was requested by a customer um, and obviously notifies you when your customer makes their first order. Uh, it's a really good one to sort of link in with something like email marketing if you want to find customers who have made their first order so you can then drop them into maybe like a MailChimp workflow or a campaign or something like that and stay engaged with them digitally as well as just having that information to hand if they're your customer or something like that. Uh, and then one that I can showcase you. So a lot of these, well, all of them in fact are daily, weekly and monthly with the exception of some that are instant. So I'm gonna demonstrate one of these instant ones for you just so you get an idea on how they look when you receive them. So I'm just gonna, I've opened another tab here and I'm just gonna go and have a look for a contact in this case. This is Michelle. And what we have here is our activity. Um, so in my opinion, the mention is probably one of the best kept secrets in prospect and something I often try and sort of demonstrate when I'm on personal calls with customers. Uh, and it's definitely something I use regularly in house. If you open an activity and press at, you actually get a list of users. And you can add a couple of users on here. Type out a message. Um, customer like new jam. And then when you hit post, that obviously saves into your activity. It sends a notification to whoever you've listed in here and ultimately keeps a record date stamped in there as well. So we now have our notification. If I click open in prospect, that links back to prospect onto the record where that, that activity has been made. So it kind of completes that circle. Um, and then obviously you can go through and, and type something back and have a conversation and collaborate with your colleagues. These notifications have sort of a similar style. So I've got a couple of others in here, which I'll show you. We have an inquiry coming through uh, and a couple of other mentions. And generally speaking, their task is to link you back into a location in prospect where you can then have a look at that data and try and resolve what it, what it is you're being notified of or, or make action of that piece of data. So one of those here then is the CRM notifications for orders. So we've got three pending orders that are new ones. Um, if I hit result held orders, this takes me back into prospect into a report of sort of those orders and why they're on hold or, or why they've not gone through yet. So quotes waiting to be confirmed. This here then got a few bits of information about the quotes that are outstanding. These orders here, I can see they're on hold. So it might be an opportunity for me to go and speak to the sales guys and see why these orders are on hold if you're waiting for something or they might not be on hold and maybe there's some kind of other issue. Maybe they don't have an account yet. Maybe you haven't got a shipping address for them or there's some kind of sort of issue with the quote itself, whether it be technical or human error or something like that. But for whatever reason, ultimately this should be empty and you definitely won't, don't want 14 and a half thousand pounds worth of quotes sat there. Uh, and hopefully this report will allow you to clear those down and not lose business for sort of being delayed or anything like that. Uh, another notification I wanted to demonstrate today was the inquiries. So inquiry, inquiries is one of the newer features we have. Um, some of you will have already taken advantage of this feature, which is great. Um, but if you haven't, I wanted to give you a, a sort of a quick two minute run through of what an inquiry is, what the feature does and how you can take advantage of that. Um, we do have a webinar planned for the future to go through inquiries properly. So I won't spend too much time on this today, but we do have other content available in terms of articles and stuff. You can go and have a look at if this is something of interest. But for today's session, then we'll just run through what I've got planned. 
So on the left, you've got marketing. And then you've got these forms here. And what an inquiry form is, if you picture a, a customer website uh, or your own website, it's somewhere on that site where you have a contact us form or inquire now and they get a customer's perspective. They enter some information, maybe a query and submit that. Uh, and then it gets either emailed to you or like in our case, it's integrated into the CRM. So we pull that data from your site um, straight into prospect. So an example of what these look like, again, not spend too much time on this today. Um, so we've got an inquiry form for new jams. These forms allow you to enter and sort of drag and drop some information out. So this is the data we're looking to collect. So we might want a title, first name, last name. Maybe we're looking at their postcode as well. Um, and maybe you want to you know, jiggle these around however you want it to kind of look visually. You can then add some styling to this and this can be deployed on your website. Um, it doesn't have to be a prospect website by any means. It can be any other site you have, open, existing, et cetera. But then when a customer goes and fills this information, it will log an inquiry and so that will then get assigned to someone. You can then, so anyone who fills in this inquiry on my website gets sent to me. And then I will receive a notification for that to go and act, uh, go and action that data and, and speak to that customer, hopefully go through their inquiries and I will show you what they look like now as well. So that's a form that's again for deploying on the site. If you hit create, you can just manually make an inquiry. So in this scenario, perhaps you've got someone on the phone who's you've never spoken to before, don't know who they are. You don't wanna make a full sort of prospect customer and a contact yet. You just want some basic information and what they're asking about to go and give that to one of the sales guys. So if I throw this information in quickly, so first names, tasks, companies, and such like that, throw in some number details, uh, assign it to myself. And then the most important obviously summary of what they're looking for. More about jam go and then i'm going to hit create so this is what you'll receive if you either manually create an inquiry like we've just done or if we get those inquiry forms deployed on your site and the customer fills that out this is what you'll be left with in prospect from here if you decide this is um you know you've spoken to the customer now and, and they, they you don't sell what they're looking for or for, what, for for whatever reason this inquiry isn't valid you can discard this if you had a hopefully a productive conversation with this customer and you are going to hopefully sell them something you can hit convert you can then take this information and make this inquiry into an actual contact or a company you can make an opportunity for them or something along those lines and store this data properly within prospect all right so that that's a, a very quick sort of crash course on what an inquiry is um as well as uh how you can make those forms and, and again we do have hopefully some better content coming your way on this but if this is something of interest feel free to reach out and get in touch as well so the inquiry notification we should have received as well there's that. Here's my notification that I've been assigned an, uh, an inquiry straight from the website, opening prospect. And again, that takes us straight back to our record that we've just made. So that's the notifications we have at the moment. Just going back and recapping very quickly. So my profile in the top right, over to notifications, configure them from here. You don't obviously have to have them all on if some of these aren't relevant. This little sort of toggle on the right will remove these. Um, but that's sort of the notifications we have on offer at the moment. So we have had a few questions come in. I'm just going to check if there was any new ones. Feel free to sort of fire them our way. Um, that's the sort of main bulk of the conversation in all the demonstrations done. I do have some questions already set from when you guys originally sort of uh, signed on to the webinar, some things that I thought would be really beneficial for everyone to hear as well. So some of the questions we had were, are there more notifications in the pipeline? Yes, uh, we will be building out some more of these. Um, anything you would specifically like to see, please send our way, lots of feedback or an inquiry or something like that, uh, or, or, or an idea, and we'll have a look at those and take those into consideration as well. Um, another question we had come in was, can mentions be used used anywhere? Uh, yes, so I was here on a contact record where I made this inquiry. 
uh, sorry, made this mention, but anywhere on any record that has an activity, so if you go back up to company record here, uh, as opposed to the contact or go across to uh, an opportunity, for example, anywhere that has this activity will have your list of users and you can send them that mention and heart start conversing with them through the activity. We had another question from one of you guys was interested to see if there's any scope within the problem tracker. Uh, yeah, so problems, another location that we don't have any notifications for just yet. But again, um, depending on how you would like these configured, it'd be great to have maybe a conversation as to how you would like to sort of visually see those. If you would like, I'm thinking in my head, image, maybe chasing people or something like that, or maybe giving you guys a roundup of what's going on with your problems. I'm sure there's plenty of scope. And again, please leave us any feedback or log an idea for that. That'd be really be, uh, helpful for us as well. And then we had another question here. It would be interesting to know if this includes reports being sent out on a schedule. So that's actually something I've had a conversation with a customer um, recently. So Prospect is obviously full of, of reports. There's plenty in here. So companies and that, that one we saw earlier with quotes that are waiting to be confirmed. I think what we're looking for is some kind of schedule that gives you um, either an update or a summary of that report, or perhaps just a link to it to remind you that you need to check this report. Not too sure yet, we've not sort of booked that in, but that is something we're potentially gonna have in the future. Um, and something that, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be looking at. Um, let's just see if we have any other questions there. Yeah, I was just having Can a look, we... Alex. Lisa's just popped one in. Yeah, yeah about see. showing more details. Yeah, if you send more details in the subject line of an email notification, so the user can glance at their emails and react appropriately. So when they come in, I think just so everyone's on the same page, um, we're looking at this here, uh, prospect inquiry task. You get a notification. So we've got uh, the name of the task there and then the inquiry. This one down here says Alex got my mentioned and such like that. So we don't have any configuration on that just yet, but if you have suggestions on how that can be enhanced, again, please throw it our way. I'm sure we could potentially look at something in the interface where you get uh, maybe a strap line or something in here and you could enter some text and that could be configurable. Um, I quite like that idea. So I appreciate that some of these won't, will mean sort of different things to different people. So that's not a bad idea and something we can look at as well. Um, so I hope that's okay, Lisa. I don't think we had any other questions did we Jess? Not for any just yet definitely put them in now guys if you've got anything you want us to raise um no nothing so far okay I think that okay. is it then for now that's fine then if, if obviously if you do have any other questions then feel free to throw them our way um so just in terms of sort of future webinars and such like that we do have a few like i said i think it's every two weeks um we have another webinar coming up and that should take us into sort of early 2024 um you can register for these webinars at go.prospectsoft.com slash webinars um and then we'll be planning some more sort of going into 2024 as well um but again thank you for for taking the time out of your day to come and join us and hopefully that was a, a benefit to everyone thanks everyone take care Thank you all very much. Thank you.